Hello Aquarius, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising in Venus and it will be from the 1st to the 7th of February 2021. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching energy or message. <coughs> Sorry, my voice was going. Message for the week. So what do we have for Aquarius, please? Angels, spirits, guides. Message for our lovely Aquarians, thank you. 1st to the 7th of February 2021. Thank you. Okay. So we have the five of coins. Okay. Message for Aquarius, please. Angel spirits, guides. Message for Aquarius. Thank you. So we have, yeah, this goes very well with the five of coins. View from above, get the big picture. Okay. So angels, what is the message for all of the Aquarians? Thank you. Message for Aquarius. Thank you. So we have... There's something better, and we have that with <laughs> within the next few weeks. Isn't that lovely? So there is something better for some of you within the next few weeks, but there is a need to get perspective, see the big picture, open your mind. Okay. So I'm going to pull three cards. The first card is the issue or challenge you face. Second card is advice from spirit. And the third card is the outcome should you take the advice. Then we'll clarify the cards and go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, Aquarius. So just, as always, take what resonates with you. We have the King of Wands here in the challenge position. Ten of Wands. And outcome is Death card. Okay. So what do we have for Aquarius, please? Angel Spirits Guides, message for our lovely Aquarians. Thank you. 1st to the 7th of February, 2021. Okay, message for Aquarius. Thank you. Thank you. So we have the Eight of Cups. The Ten of Wands, we have the High Priestess clarifying that. And the death card is clarified by temperance. Interesting. Because this card comes after that, which is quite nice. And we have the page of wands or the page of rods. Okay. So, five of pentacles, Aquarius, is a card of feeling lack. It can be a card of rejection, being out of the cold in relationships. In terms of money, career, financial situations, it can be to do with financial loss or changes for the negative in your financial situation, feeling the pinch, feeling the lack. Um, the message is that you're being watched over during this time. You know, that's why the window is there of the church, because even though you don't know it, you are being watched over in the times of struggle. Uh, there is definitely this kind of energy of you need to get the big perspective, get the big picture, which is what you're very good at. You might find, Aquarius, that there is something very consuming about this energy, something consuming your thoughts. I mean, this can be a card of begrudging people if it wasn't unfair, how something was done, uh, feeling the lack. I mean, it can be to do with your self-esteem, self-worth as well. It feels in this energy that there could have been some begrudging or bad feeling in terms of how this panned out. But the message is within the next few weeks, there is absolutely something better coming your way. So allow yourself to get perspective now. See the big picture once more. You are a visionary energy anyway. And it is about tapping into those natural skills, abilities that you have. King of Wands can be a person. Um, generally, it's a Leo for me as a reader. Can be fire energy, so Aries, Sagittarius. Or the energy of somebody who's like that. Um, so that's if it's a person. I mean, this is somebody who will be a go-getter, be very successful. They're a leader. Um, so in, certainly in terms of business, it would be somebody, an authority, a leader. Um, and similarly, in terms of 
you know, generally they're very successful, very dynamic, very creative, understand how to bring growth and success by being in their power. In terms of love, romance, relationships, I mean, this is somebody who's very charismatic, magnetic, um, larger than life character as well, very confident, you know, outgoing, that kind of energy, male or female. But there is the energy that the message is saying goodbye, walking away. And that has been the challenge. Uh, it might well be for some of you. There might be somebody or what this person represents that you are wanting to walk away from now. So let's clarify the Eight of Cups. Yeah, we have the Ten of Pentacles. I mean, this, like I said, this can be in terms of money career. This can be in terms of a long-term relationship partnership. This can be somebody walking away from you or you choosing to walk away from somebody. The Ten of Pentacles is generally quite a, a long-term uh, relationship. If it's a relationship, committed relationship, it's generations of family. Um, but it can also be to do with uh, money career, finances, you know? It could well be wanting to move on from somebody. Generally, there's disappointment when the Eight of Cups appears. And there is a need to move towards something better. So whether it feels like maybe some choice or decision here to move away is what the challenge is in this situation. As an energy, the King of Wands is take the lead, be in your power. This is a card of, of big visions as well. So... For some of you, it is about try and get perspective in how you take action now to do with this situation. Because the message from Spirit is the Ten of Wands is these burdens have built up over a period of time. They're weighing you down. They stop your progress. But there is now an opportunity to release the burdens. And it is about you make the decision on how you release these burdens by trusting your instincts, which way you want to go, Aquarius. It feels for some of you, I mean, this is a card of alignment, aligning with your aligning with your true self, your soul self, your soul path energy. And it definitely feels in this situation that you have something may have been disappointing or has run its course. And there is the desire to move towards greater happiness, fulfillment, contentment, and turn your back on something that just doesn't serve you anymore, in whatever context this is. But, you know, the 10 of Wands is it's an ending, it's a completion, it's a 10. So it definitely feels like whatever this burden has been, you have the opportunity to release this now, to make space for the new, to not hold on to the journey, the difficult journey of the past, but to actually release it. So, you know, and this is very much your intuition is absolutely telling you which way you go. Yeah. It can be sometimes to do with the subconscious mind, you know, as well, you know. Uh, so sometimes with the subconscious, things come to the surface when they've not been resolved, you know, fundamental issues or, you know, a grievances. And, and the only way to deal with them is something that like you've been carrying for some time. You might find things are coming to the surface again, you know, and it, it can be this energy of they're coming to, to the surface in order for you to release the past baggage, you know, the past burden, you know, to finally release it once and for all. And I'm definitely getting that energy as well here, Aquarius. There is definitely some kind of ending completion here. Um, it feels, I mean, the death card is a card of transformation. It is a card of metamorphosis, and this is your metamorphosis. This is your opportunity to say out with the old, in with the new. It is a, is, it is a, lot, a card of releasing the burdens, shedding an old skin, and allowing yourself to be fully reborn, you know, to emerge in your own true light once more. So it definitely feels in this energy that this ending will allow you to, will also enable you to bring great transformation in your life. Because we have 
the Temperance card, which is a card of finding balance again. When death has done its job, you know, and there's been endings or deep change in your circumstances, you know, and this is a cleansing, cathartic energy, purification energy, like I said, shedding all skin. It's the Phoenix Rising card of Scorpio. Um, and the Phoenix actively rises from the ashes in order to and, in, and purges the, the, the old, you know. It embraces the new, it rises in all its colours by purging the old. And this is the adapting, the finding the way forward um, with the Temperance card. I mean, this is a card of patience as well, be patient with yourself. But it's also a card of you've learnt some valuable experiences here and it might well be that whatever the experience that you've been through is taught you some valuable lessons in terms of what you want, what you don't want and how, how you want to move forward. You know, sometimes this can be about altering our beliefs now, how we alter our beliefs from the life experiences that we've had from past journeys and how we move forward and find our flow once more. You know, uh, so it, it definitely feels for some of you that now uh, when there is this ending, there is the ability to find your balance, move forward, regroup and adapt to change. Because for some of you, there is a message here with the Page of Wands. I mean, this can be some good news, can be to do with some kind of opportunity. Um, so very good in terms of business, career, jobs and so on. Um, the Page of Wands is also a card of free spirit energy. So if it's to do with relationships, it feels regrouping, adjusting your life, adapting and allowing yourself to if, I mean, the pages are the beginnings of something new, the beginnings of change. So opening a new door, you know, taking the steps to wanting to, sco to discover a new path, um, freeing yourself from whatever has troubled you before. So it feels in this energy, this is very good if there has been financial lack, you know, or changes in your financial structure, that this can be some kind of opportunity, good news, message to do with some kind of opportunity coming into your life. If this is an energy of something affecting your self-esteem, self-worth, there is definitely an energy of releasing the old, um, freeing yourself, liberating yourself. Something comes to an end here and it allows you to then move forward and move forward as a free spirit energy. So very, very nice indeed, Aquarius, I have to say. It says there's something better in the next few weeks. And I think this is the something better. This is the something better, the page of wands. Um, very, very good indeed. So, yeah, very much about endings, beginnings. I'm going to pull you one more card, Aquarius. Let's have a final advice card for Aquarius, thank you, before we pull the fairy cards because it feels like a big reading for somebody um, what do we have please angel spirits guides okay yeah Aquarian energy we're ending on very nice so we have the six of swords moving from troubled times towards better times ahead it's not quite over yet you know this is a card of transition but you're going in the right direction and you're making the right choices for you and you're choosing the right path for you. It's also a card of healing as well, but it's also a card of embracing change. Somebody who is ready for change. Um, and karma waters suggest there's better times to come. You know, the worst will be behind you. And for some of you, there's something better ahead. And there is. There is a finality here, and then all of a sudden, a new door opens. A new door opens for you. Um, either by your own action. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. I just literally pulled that down, and I've got the Knight of Pentacles. So that can be somebody making you an offer, um, an opportunity. Very good in terms of money career. So business, career, um, can be about contracts, can be about clients, job opportunities, 
incoming money for some of you very very good energy the knight of pentacles is also getting back on track so if this has been to do with love for example it definitely feels for some of you you are going to get back on track with the knight of pentacles appearing right underneath that i'm kind of thinking it's more money in career now aquarius um it feels more money and career orientated but it definitely feels for some of you there is definitely some new opportunity coming your way so the message is find your flow again and allow yourself to just move forward because there is better things ahead and there's a need to get big perspective see the big picture take a step back and you'll understand how you need to adapt adjust to move forward so let's pull a final fairy card If the message is, am I going to be okay in whatever context? Yes, there's definitely positive cards here. This will be the making of you and that's what you're being told. You know, this will be, change is coming, the nights are change. We have inspiration, be prepared as you'll soon receive a visit from the fairy of inspiration. Come dusk or dawn, she can call at any time, yeah. I definitely feel something will inspire you, the ones are all about inspiration. Um, how you take action or it can be some news to do with an opportunity it feels very good in terms of an opportunity here with the knight of pentacles i have to say um yeah okay thank you the cards keep moving so we have we have the eight of wands which again can be some good news um incoming news swift incoming news that brings change this is all about change so i have cards of change here towards the end of the reading so very, very beautiful energy indeed. I hope you enjoyed the reading Aquarius. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you and I will see you next time. Thank you.